Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Alex, the Comic Order. Thank you so much for clicking play on this video. Today, I've got a haul video for you guys. And in this one, I let the fear of missing out or FOMO get the best of me and you will see why in just a little bit. Hopefully you guys are excited for this video. Here we go. I want to give a big shout out and thanks to this channel sponsored Shortboxed. It's the easiest and safest way to buy and sell graded comic books online. There's a link in the description below for Apple and Android users to download that app today. There are graded comic books listed on there from the very beginner collector to the investment grade high, high dollar collector. I want you guys to download that app using the link in the description below and start shopping today. All right, so I was on a trip down to Evansville, Indiana. So it's the southwest portion of Indiana. And I stopped at a comic book shop and did a little dollar bin shopping. They have some great dollar bins at this one comic book shop. And then I also ordered um, some books from Vin Crew to support a comic addict. And these are books that I love. I've been looking for. And he sold it to, he sold both of those to me at a very, very nice price. And then I ordered this book is the Fear of Missing Out book. I saw Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness twice now. And there's just a book in here that I was like, oh. I've got to have it. I saw that it was on sale still and available still. Or I might have seen someone post it and then I was like, I, I, thought I went straight to eBay, I believe. Uh, on my way down to Evansville, there was this little antique shop in the middle of nowhere. And it was a really nice curated, beautiful antique shop. And they had a couple carded figures. And this one, I, I know I had figures from this set in 1991 when I was a youngster, nine years old. I picked up for $15 at this little antique shop. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. So this is the Kevin Costner Robin Hood. It's a Kenner action figure. Really, really cool. Very, very nice card. I mean, for the most part, it's pretty nice. And then I paid $15 for this. And I think this is the more desirable of the two. There's a crossbow and there's a longbow. And this one is the longbow Robin Hood. So there is that. I loved this movie when I was younger. And all the Brian Adams tunes that came with it. There's some good figures there. There's the Robin Hood with the crossbow, Robin Hood longbow, Dark Warrior Azim, Friar Tuck, Little John, Will Scarlet, who was awesome. I think I had that figure growing up. And then Sheriff of Nottingham. Very, very cool. Just nice nostalgic figures. And then did they did they repurpose the um, Ewoks playset for the Sherwood Forest playset? It kind of looks similar. Anyways. This is really cool. Yeah, I like this and I was happy to pick it up for $15. All right, so now I will show the books that I bought at that shop. These are all dollar books. This one I just bought to read. Strange Adventures, number one, Adam Strange. I'm, I'm worried that I'm really gonna like this run and then have a regrets for selling my first appearance of Adam Strange. I sold it at the Comic Con or I traded it at the Comic Con uh, Big River Comic Con in Hannibal, Missouri, just because I had it, I had it there, and there's a big dealer who was looking for bigger books, and I was like, "Hey, check out this box," and it, it was in that box. It's not a book that I had huge attachment to. I got a really good deal on it, and that video's upcoming, of course, what I traded for that book. So, anyways, uh, yeah, Strange Adventures number one, Tom King. Pretty excited to read this one. I when it came out, I didn't pick it up, but I um, I knew I wanted to, so I'm glad I was able to get that. Then I'm gonna go through these dollar bin books that I picked up. First one is pretty neat. It's a sub 100 Walking Dead. So Walking Dead number 58. I used to think any like Walking Dead, like under a certain number were pretty decent. So happy to have this one. This next one is a spec book that I got for a dollar. It's Rogue One, Star Wars Story. The spec on this one, it's the first appearance of Cassian Andor, who is right there on the cover. He is getting his own series on Disney Plus unless for some reason I don't I didn't hear that it got canceled or something like that but for all my knowledge he's getting a he's getting his own series so pretty excited to get this for a dollar I think that's my third copy maybe Silver Age Dave is going pretty hard on this one Lazarus issue number 1 and I think he I think he has multiple multiple copies and I think this one has already been optioned so just kind of waiting for it to come to fruition but Lazarus issue number one. If you can't find Avenging Spider-Man number nine, the first appearance of Carol, Carol Danvers as Captain Marvel, a nice consolation is Avenging Spider-Man number 10, the second appearance of Carol Danvers as Captain Marvel. I think this one's pretty decent. Uh, it was a nice condition for a dollar. 
So really nice Terry Dodson cover. The second appearance of Carol Danvers as Captain Marvel. This is one of my favorite comic books, modern comic books of Superman. Superman 204 Jim Lee cover. And there is a Batman cover that goes right along with this. And it's the first appearance, of, or it's the first in the Hush series. It's the variant, Jim Lee variant for that one. And they are looking at each other standing on the gargoyles or standing on the rooftops. So really, really great Superman number 204. And I think this is the Superman for tomorrow. I believe that's it. I It's one of my favorite Superman stories. It's like a 12-issue story. And really, really great stuff. I've always liked it. I love the art on the inside. And great cover great story all right civil war number seven for a dollar very very nice condition high grade condition i was like heck yeah i'll pick that up for a dollar any day of the week and so civil war number seven and the last one was another spec book secret invasions number one just an awesome awesome spec book for the secret invasion disney plus series that's going to be coming out Really like this book, have always liked it, and it is a Del Auto cover. If you guys don't know, Del Auto signature is like that. So very, very cool. Awesome Del Auto spec on that one. All right, I'm gonna open up this package first. I got it from Vin Crew during his support a comic book attic sale. He always has very, very nice comic books that he puts up, and I love one of these books. It's one of my favorite in this run. And then the other one is one that I've never owned, but I was have always been looking for. All right, so I paid a total of $91. That's with shipping for these two books. The first one is Vampirella number 19. Very, very hard to find. Lucio Perillo cover for Vampirella. I found one in a shop for like under $10. And I got it graded, and for some reason, right around here, there was a huge imprint, like, um, almost like, you can describe it as like, it got pressed in with like a pebble or dropped on something, and it just made a huge impression on the cover. It might be able to uh, press out and get a, a better grade, but that was a perfect, perfect book. He's got freaking issues, pressed it, and then somewhere in between him and it getting graded, or somewhere in between like CGC and it getting encapsulated and graded, it got a huge impression right there, which caused it to get a 9-4. So anyways, Vampirella at number 19, Lucio Perillo, just very, very nice, hard to find book and hard to get in, in high grade. And then um, this one is a Jenny Frizen cover, Vampirella number three, and this is the variant for this cover. And it's so nice that they, they did a, a short box with this image on it. I, I love this book. It's one I've, I've been searching for for a long time and very, very happy to have uh, been able to get it from Vin Crew on his sale. So yeah, those are very, very nice. And last book is the Fear of Missing Out book, the FOMO book that I just couldn't live without. I had to have it after seeing the movie and here it is. All right, so it's from 616 or the 616 comics. All right, so this isn't necessarily a spoiler for the Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness because we all saw this character show up in the trailer in the last trailer right before the movie um, was premiered. And this is Captain Carter number one. This is the David Nakayama cover. And I just saw this one. This is my favorite one out of all of the Captain Carter variants or A covers. And I just love this David Nakayama cover. David Nakayama is definitely one of my favorite artists. I think he does a great, great job. And this is very stoic, really cool looking Peggy Carter as Captain Carter. And I just got in my last video, the first appearance of Peggy Carter. So this goes really, really nicely with that book. And that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you appreciated this video and enjoyed the content. If you do like it and you're brand new here, would love it if you would hit that subscription button, hit that bell to be notified when there's future videos. I've got like two or three more hauls raring to go. There's some really, really amazing books and then I'll be doing another video tomorrow with a sponsorship from Hip Comics. So stay tuned to that. You guys give a thumbs up if you can and then comment down below what you thought of this haul. I will talk to you all on the next one. See ya, bye. Oh, my God.